I write the music, when I compose it, I'm actually just making pre-production. So I'm recording at my home studio or my, my, my own studio. And then, then I just grab an instrument, uh, start playing, record it, and then just build up a song. When that is basically done, I haven't played it anymore since. Some of the tracks are two years old now. So some of the parts I haven't done for two years. So I have to rediscover it today to make it work on the actual album. Uh, most of the time I just, just um, imitate or copy what I already played. And, and of course sometimes with the project developed, I think, oh, it should be more like this. And then, then it can be influenced with, with just the, yeah, an update mind and an update perspective of, of what the music should sound, sound like. So yeah, we're gonna do uh, Irish Bazooki and Nickel Harper. Basically for me, it is gonna be a surprise what I have to play uh, and on which track what. Maybe maybe both, maybe one of the instruments, maybe none. I, I, I have no clue anymore. So I just have to uh, open my pre-production, look at all the layers that are there, and then uh, I will select it in solo so I can only hear what I played on the instrument. I will listen to it a couple of times, then reproduce it on the instrument, and then we're just gonna record it. sound engineers that we're working with, Lars and uh, Ale, they're <laughs> insane uh, nerds, especially when it comes to mics and analog material. What they do is like uh, build uh, three mics and they're like really precise on the millimeter, like how these mics are, are set up. And then we record them. Uh, we, we record one instrument and then just check which mic is the very best. Yeah, it's it's proper proper nerd nerd stuff going on here, uh, and I hope it will uh, will be hearable in the in the result. I play the harp in solo. Because of good reasons, we thought it was better to, to record, record uh, the Celtic harp in, a, in a, a bit bigger room. This is a completely new experience for me, um, recording in a big studio. And the harp parts are going to be different for this new album because um, Faber used to play it on a lyre. So now he's going to work more uh, piano style. So I have also more range on the harp when I play the parts. And I think it's a big step forward for solo. Different music style, different whole band actually. So I think it's going to be amazing. I'm also a very classical music nerd or, or really classical music minded. Just to, to, to change it within the genre, I thought I would like to have more strings and more cinematic sound. Uh, so then I thought, let's make a Viking orchestra. Let's add two cellos and, um, and uh, vi viola and violin. Then it will become like proper cinematic. Hello, I'm Rika. I play the violin. I'm Angie. <laughs> Bye.
Robert has a goal to work towards. It's really a man with a plan. He tells me what he he has in his mind, and I then I try to figure it out. What does he mean? And sometimes I get it. Sometimes I have to work more on it. But I think mostly we we get what we want, what he wants, what we like. But it drives me crazy sometimes. <laughs> Then you have to explain what you want, right? Pretty, da -da 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 -da. pretty strong and tough, but at the same time also sensitive. So play with those contrasts. It's dramatic and epic at the same time. So he, he really, sometimes he's just like, okay, no, no, okay, we're going to do this. Or be like an angry uh, pussycat, like meow, uh, on the violin. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> And then he says to me, play something like that, and I play something like that, and he's like, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Exactly. We're gonna do the same thing again, and now make it even uh, nicer, uh, uh, binding the, 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 the notes a bit more. Exactly. Talking about those effects, it's always a challenge, but, uh, but it's a nice challenge. You can even do... Like... Real expression. Yeah. Most of the time, the musicians just did, did what I tried to explain. And that is just amazing. Most of the songs are pretty straightforward for, for the singing parts. Basically one male vocal lead and uh, also a female vocal lead. And sometimes on top of that we add some extra uh, harmonies. <laughs> My name is Mickey, I'm the singer for Sogolo. The vocals in Sogolo are more like an instrument instead of music and then you have the vocals. It's um, more adding layers, adding a bit of sound instead of doing all the ad-libs or something like that. Uh, right before I, I, I uh, started creating Mon, back then I thought it was becoming an instrumental uh, album. I was basically busy with the last track and uh, somebody gave me uh, a rune poem in Anglo-Saxon. I read the poem during making a track and I just saw that it could co be connected so easily. I thought, let's try and and uh, write some, some write some lyrics in Anglo-Saxon. Then I wrote lyrics for all the uh, songs, and uh, that was a point of no return. I've studied the. The pronunciation a lot it uh, really takes some getting used to actually uh, we got help from the university in leiden so a big thanks to them because they study anglo-saxon there they helped us with the pronunciation and with the grammar and stuff so uh, that was really useful Wurt Olaf mee. Min breast fulleth mit angnes. 